I grew up rurally, tucked along the river bend. The land sang so loudly to me as a child. Its power was abundant, and my connection to it was strong. Not to mention my wonderful neighbor who made sure to teach my brother and I to sense and understand the energy that was ever present here. He showed us how to identify fairy circles, and taught us of the secrets spoken by trees. He also gifted me my first introduction to herbalism, a practice that has defined all of my adult life, though I didn't know of its significance at the time. I spent my childhood deeply entranced by the beauty and intensity of my homeland, and spent every free moment immersed within its teachings. But then one day I grew up. I forgot much of my learnings and tucked that side of myself deeply away, even forgetting the herbal understandings I'd been shown, regarding it all as childish and fantasy. Life became very dull. Those years were empty in a way, and I always felt as though a piece of myself had gone missing. That is, until I was gifted a book on medicinal teas. It was a simple and easy to read volume that almost never left my side. Every turn of the page, every note taken, pulled me deeper within. This simple book began to fill that empty space that had been missing since growing up, and it served as my gateway back into herbalism. My studies blossomed from there. I gathered every book or material I could find, and immersed myself deeply into the practice. It immediately became my home, and I found much of myself within these studies. Implementing herbal medicine in my daily life, and bringing a great deal of quality back into it. And it wasn't too long until I began to notice the mentions of energy here and there, or discussions of plants as though they were active partners in the medicine, not just simply ingredients. This piqued my interest and felt familiar to the understandings and learnings I'd found as a child. At first, it seemed as though it couldn't be real, but then there it was, over and over again. Eventually, curiosity got the better of me and I began searching. Simple and guessed things. Is magic real? Are witches real? How much of Harry Potter is possibly true? The results were interesting. You must remember, this was well before the internet was what it is today in regards to these studies. And though I am fortunate to have had access to it at my fingertips, it was all still very lacking. And where there was information, there was over-animation. Deep purple pages and stars bursting at every corner, and most everything based solely in Wicca. But nonetheless, I was enchanted. It felt like stepping back in time, and even though everything didn't feel particularly suited to me, I finally began to put to words all that I had known in my heart. Then, one day, I was gifted my very first book on the subject by my cousin. I devoured the pages and fell in love with all that I saw. It bridged the gap that herbalism couldn't entirely fill and started me down an entirely new journey. I tried on every label I found, seeing if I was more suited to the ceremonial or simple, engaging with all styles of the craft and every practice I could get my hands on. Until very slowly, I found my way to what felt the most true and ultimately back to what I had always known deep in my soul. My practice melded with herbal medicine, 
and it became one of healing and working with nature. It has since blossomed and bloomed through the years, taking root in new places and finding new swirls unique to me. It's been nearly a decade now of growth and change, but the heart has remained the same, even if it was forgotten for some years. Because at the end of the day, this practice is natural. It's inherent to ourselves, and it's something we've known all our lives. Sometimes it just takes some remembering and redevelopment of understanding. There are so many beautiful practices of the witch, each as distinct as the individual practicing. I found a home in herbal magic and hearth-based practices, and I've been lucky enough to dedicate my life to sharing them. It is my greatest passion, and I couldn't imagine living any other way. I will forever be grateful for all of those who helped me along this path, and I look forward to all the new understandings around each and every corner.